Hello, I'm Dr. Dong Hun Lee. Today, I'd like to show you one of my deformity correction cases. I will introduce one of bow leg surgery. This is one of my bow leg surgery cases. Overall, you can see she has bow legs. As you know, bow legs is like this. It looks like O shape. This is after surgery. You can see the scar. This is very small scar, but you can see the pigmentation since it's not far from the surgery date. I will show you the x-ray. This is the x-ray before surgery, and you can see also bow legs. When I analyze the deformity, the location of deformity is here, proximal tibia. She has proximal tibia deformity. So this is how to correct this deformity. The name of the surgery is high tibial osteotomy. This is one of very commonly performed used surgery to correct the bow legs. You can see this line and this line. Originally, this gap was closed. During the surgery, I opened this space like this, and here is hinge point. So with this procedure, the legs goes to the outside to be straightened. You can see also this gap heals very well with time. This is post op x-ray. This is high tibial osteotomy surgery. And this is mechanical axis from the center of the femoral head to the center of the ankle joint. Before surgery, axis is passing quite far medial from the joint center. Quite medial. After surgery, mechanical axis was a very nice point of the knee joint. So this is the change of the bow leg surgery. So bow leg surgery is good cosmetically, but also good to the knee joint in the long term. I want to show you the scar. This is from the other hospital, and this is from our hospital. You can see it's a very small scar. I want to tell you, this is not just a matter of the size of scar, it's the matter of injury to the soft tissue. So, this is the things I want to tell you guys today. First, minimum incision is not the matter of size of incision, it should be minimally invasive surgery. That means making the surgery as safe as possible by minimizing tissue damage during the operation. So, surgeon should not compromise the stability of the bone to make incision smaller. It's very important to gain the strongest fixation while making the smallest incision. So, I'd show you one of my bone leg surgery cases done by high tibia osteotomy technique. Once again, small incision should be minimal invasive surgery to the tissue during the surgery and it should not compromise the stability of fixation or should not compromise quality of operation as well. Thank you for watching.